This tutorial is going to talk a little bit more about creating an interesting um, background using the tablet and leaving your main focus or the person in your photograph just a regular photo and again just having the background drawn with color added to it. This image is an example of having the background added so you can see if I zoom in um, that the trees are all outlined with the tablet. Uh, there's a little bit of green added in the trees, a little bit of blue was painted on in the sky with the tablet. And then you can see again the picture is um, plain, just a regular photograph. Getting started, I have my regular photo opened. And what I'm going to do is add a new layer because again you never want to be working on the background layer. You always want to start with a new layer so you can get rid of um, whatever is going on in the picture. So I have my new layer created. And with the tablet, I'm going to zoom in on my photo and decide where I want to start. So what I'm going to do is just start outlining these trees. Um, I'm going to grab a paintbrush. You might want to try something different. So I chose this paintbrush here that has um, a little bit of a different shape to it, which makes the uh, image look a little more interesting. And I'm going to start with a smaller size here. And I'm going to leave my opacity all the way up and my mode is set to normal at the top here. So then, again, I'm just going to start outlining. Um, if you did any of the practices with um, having a sketchy outline or a graphic outline, you can use either of those techniques. Um, so again, I'm just going around all of the details that I see here, um, just kind of using that sketchy graphic outline, making it look a little interesting, like a drawing. So I'm just going around and outlining everything as detailed. Um, as possible. I might even include where some of the highlights and shadows are in my trees. So you can see where this tree separates from the background is more of a shadow there. Um, and I'm just going to continue outlining the trees, looking for uh, kind of branches that are a little bit lighter. Um, the more detail, the more interesting it could be that you include. Um, but you might also want to keep it simple. So just play around with maybe some different layers if you're not sure about how something looks add a new layer so you can always get rid of it if you don't like it um, i'm also going to go back and look at that horizon line and try and outline where that horizon line is looking at um, the trees a little bit some of the tree branches i'll go back and outline so here's some tree branches on the inside of the tree here shadow at the bottom you can see some of uh, these tree branches that I'll just outline a little bit to add some texture in my tree. But go ahead now and just continue um, for your practice image here and outline um, the trees in the background and then um, come back and we'll move on to the next step. So now I have all of the trees outlined. I have a lot of the shadows outlined here as well. So if I hide my background layer you can see a lot of the detail here. So you can see how I have um, all of these trees outlined. You can see the tree branches inside them on both sides of my image. Now what I'm going to do is take my layer here, my bottom layer, and I'm going to select that. And I'm going to add a mask to it. Um, so if you look in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, which let me move mine up so you can see it. Um, so the bottom right hand corner of your screen has this little square with a circle in it. That's going to add a mask to your layer. Um, and I actually added it to my top layer here because my background was locked. So I'm going to undo that. So I'm going to hit Command Z. And I'm going to unlock my background layer. And now that I have my background layer selected, I'll try that again. So I click on my mask and it adds a mask to that layer. Um, and the reason why we're adding a mask is we can so we can start erasing the background. Um, without permanently deleting or getting rid of the background. So the mask is going to allow you to um, erase certain areas and bring certain areas back using non-destructive editing, which is definitely important. Now that I have my mask added to my layer, I'm going to go into my paintbrush tool. So I'm not going to use the eraser. I'm actually going to use a paintbrush with my mask. I'm going to click on that paintbrush and make sure that I have black selected. So down at the bottom here, I have black selected for my color. And using my tablet, I'm just going to go in and start um, erasing out my background. So as I'm starting to erase the background, you'll notice that, um, first of all, you see the trees that I outlined, but there's also a checkerboard that starts coming up. And this is because there's nothing in the background. So I'm just showing the actual um, blank background of Photoshop. So what I can do now is add a new layer. 
and I'm gonna put that layer in the background so behind my picture layer I just clicked and dragged it below and then I'm gonna use my paint bucket and fill it with white so I'm gonna flip to white here and fill my background so now as I'm erasing I just have that blank white background instead of the checkerboard so you don't have to worry about uh, that getting in the way and you can see what your image is gonna look like so I'm gonna continue and just keep erasing as I get closer to the girl that I want to leave in my picture I'm just going to um, kind of leave a little edge around there. We'll come back to kind of refining those edges a little bit. Um, but I'm just going to continue to erase all the way. What I'm doing at the bottom of my image is leaving a little bit of the picture um, because something that you can experiment with is maybe having um, or leaving part of your background and having just part of it erased. So if I go up to my opacity here and take it down to maybe 60 or 50 percent, I can start to kind of blend or fade a certain area so it's not completely erased. So maybe you want to fade your background um, so that you can see some of the grass still at the bottom. So you can um, continue to lower that opacity so that's something that you could play around with. But for now I'm just gonna bring it back to 100% and continue uh, going back and erasing my background. Now if I accidentally erase too much, what I can do is switch my paintbrush color to white and because we have the mask I can bring that part back. So that's something important to keep in mind. Again, is just to switch the color um, from black to white so that you can refine those edges. Um, and again, around certain areas, I'm going to zoom in uh, or near the girl here so that I can make sure those edges are really clean. And I can lower the opacity around those edges as well. And that's going to help to kind of blend or fade, fade the edges so it doesn't look super cut out. But go ahead and finish erasing um, the rest of your background. Now that I have most of the background erased, what I can do is start um, adding in more color, make it a little more interesting. So I'm going to add a new layer. And with my paintbrush, I'm going to choose a color, so maybe um, a light blue for this guy. And I'm going to lower the opacity because I don't want that to be filled in all the way. I just want uh, more of a light color in the background. So I'm using my brush and I'm just going in, filling in the sky. Um, something else that could be interesting once you do this is to maybe mix it with a texture like uh, what you did with the silhouette project if you uh, got there yet. So I'm filling in the sky here and then maybe I'll go back in um, and fill in some green for the grass or a little bit for the trees. Um, but just play around and see what you like, see what works well for the background. So here's what my end result looks like. You'll notice that for the grass I used a little bit more of a yellow color so that it doesn't mix with the trees. Um, also with the trees I went over just more of the shadow areas with a darker green and used a lighter green in some areas so that's something else that you can experiment with as well.